Hey guys, welcome back to the channel this week. If you're new here, I'm Chuck and we are Alley Chuck Adventures. We are RV enthusiasts. We love camping and everything to do with the camping lifestyle. And this week I'm going to show you some, uh, some repairs I've done this week on our RV. Alright, so today's task is to get a few things done on the RV that we have noticed that have, have been issues, that have been a couple of these things we've been putting off for a while, like fixing the refrigerator door so that it shuts properly. But we found a few other things uh, that I think that I can fix myself, so I'm going to do that. There's a piece of molding here that has come loose, so I'm going to uh, get a little glue in there and tack that back, make sure it's uh, glued back well. Like I said, I want to get... To like I said, I want to get this refrigerator door realigned to where it's correctly shutting. Uh, I want to fix this slide. I don't think it's shutting properly as I think the bottom side here, as I think the bottom end of this slide is not closing in tight enough. I can see daylight at times. So I want to kind of readjust that. Um, One thing I'm curious about is this table. You can see how far it is away from the window when the slide comes in. When the slide goes out, it, it bumps up against the uh, window. So I don't know why the whole room is moving like that and how why the floor is moving like that. I don't think it should do that. So these are a few of the things I'm gonna check out and see if I can't get uh, remedied. So I've tried every adjustment that I can try, adjustment wise, to get this sucker to line up with the latch underneath here. Nothing has got it there. So there's a couple washers that sit underneath on this post. And I think I'm gonna have to find one more. I don't, to get the actual door to raise up just enough to where it latches correctly. So I'm gonna go see if I can find another small washer that will fit that. All right, this fridge door is fixed. It now shuts and latches like the freezer does. It's in there, it's latched. All right, all I ended up doing was taking the door off. <clears throat> there was a couple washers um, on the bottom hinge down there. So in order to raise it, I just added a, another little washer and uh, gave it just enough height for it to reach and latch. And it looks to me like everything is pretty square. I mean, just looking at it, probably off a little bit still. Um, might be able to adjust the freezer down now just to uh, square everything up. I'll, uh, I'll put a level on it and check. Okay, so I squared that up. Now this latches, everything latches as it should. Need to get that ice out of there. I think I'm gonna turn the refrigerator off and uh, give it a break and take everything out and get ready for our Christmas trip. All right, so the next job, I'm going to go over here and re-glue this molding down that's coming loose right there. So a little Gorilla Glue and a penny nail and that's fixed. So out here on the slide, there's a couple issues I have. And one of them being right down here. This does not look like it's closing in. This does not look like it's closing in. You can see a big gap there. It should not be like that because it should be more like the way it is on the back here. And everything is tight there. So I'm gonna do a few checks on this and see if, uh, if I can't adjust this slide and get it back in alignment. The first adjustments I seen was right here. This is the side that sticks out a little bit. And these you loosen up to, to push the slide room in a little bit. This line that they had marked here, it wasn't even lined up. It was out here. And these bolts were not even tight. I mean, they were very loose. So I pushed it back where the line lines up. I'm gonna tighten these up 
run the slide back in and see what kind of difference that actually makes on its own. Now the second problem I found was this skirting brace was not adjusted properly. So I just uh, unscrewed it. You can see where the hole, hole was. And that tightened up everything out here. As you can see, that tightened that up. So I think we're all in adjustment now. It looks, uh, it looks pretty good. Now in measuring from here to the edge of the rubber seal on both sides, this room is a little tighter this way. So I'm gonna try to, it's about an eighth of an inch. I'm gonna try to bump the room just a little bit that way. Okay, so I've just loosened this nut and this nut. That will uh, give me the adjustment I need for the horizontal position of the slide room. Now, if I needed to change the tilt from up and down vertical, I would loosen these. Loosen this lock nut here, adjust it here till it's proper, and then tighten this jam nut back up and tighten these back up. Now, this is what I've already worked on right here. And I've got these lines where they had these lines already. Now I can see lines up here and they're not a hundred percent dead on there either. And I actually need to go that way a little bit. So I'm gonna loosen up the other side. There's two on the other side the same way and see if I can't bump that room over. All right, so I think I got all the adjustments done. Everything is looking so much better. This is tight now. Hopefully no water will get in going down the road. It is uh, pretty even all the way up. I would say I'm gonna take one last measurement just to make sure. But I think, I think it looks pretty good. The back looks the same all the way up and all the way down. So it's not too hard to adjust a slide if you have to do it. Just a few uh, loosening of some nuts and a little elbow power elbow grease to move it around a little bit and let's see how it looks is it centered with the tires now fender looks centered with the tires that's good so i think uh i think everything looks good i may uh i may keep that same size wrench in there because it was a 14 millimeter or what was it no it might have been a 15 millimeter keep that in there in case I need to do any adjusting when we get to the next campsite. Well, that's two projects. Well, that's actually three projects down. Now I got to fix the awning, the short in the awning. All right. So today's another day and I'm going to get up here and I'm going to try to see if I can fix this awning and find out if it's just come unplugged, which I have a suspicion it has. And if it has, it means I'm going to have to take the motor assembly all the way out, which is kind of a pain. And I didn't really want to have to do that but looking online, it's probably the only way I'm gonna be able to get to the plug-in. So I took the motor loose up there and I did find the pigtail where it was plugged in. It appeared to be fine. I just unplugged it, plugged it back in and uh, went inside to test it and everything's working, so. I ran it out, ran it in a couple times. Seems to be fine. I guess what I'll do for the future is I'll just make sure I have that 7 16 nut driver with me just in case it uh, we have it out and it doesn't want to go back in. But for now, I guess I'm going to call it good and say it's working. Hey guys, if you're new to this channel and if this video helped you in any sort of way at all, really appreciate if you would hit that subscribe button down below. Ring that notification bell so you know when we upload new videos. Drop us a like and drop us a comment and we will see you guys next week.